Moon Voss P197 Fighter. This single seat fighter is powered by two Yonkers UMO 004 jet propulsion units mounted side by side in the rear end of the fuselage, which is necessarily broad in plan form. This disposition of the jet units is made possible by the sweep back of the low wing. Apart from the fact that the tailplane is mounted on top of the fin, the front elevation is rather like that of the ME262. The wingspan is 36.4 feet, and the wing area is 221 square feet. The leading edge of the large fin is sharply swept back. Armament consists of two MK-103s underneath the cockpit, with an MG-151 20mm on each side. The intakes for the jet units are in the nose, just forward of the leading edge. They project downwards and are partially masked in front elevation. The estimated maximum speed at a mean weight of 12,850 pounds is 660 miles per hour at 27,000 feet, ignoring the Mach effect. The initial rate of climb is 4,150 feet per minute, and the time to climb to 27,000 feet is 11 minutes. Blamund Voss P-198 High Altitude Fighter This high altitude fighter is powered by a BMW 018 turbojet unit, 7,500 to 7,700 pounds static thrust at sea level, slung beneath the forward part of the fuselage, necessitating a very deep forward fuselage, 8.15 feet. The 49.2 foot wingspan has a slight taper on the leading edge and pronounced taper on the trailing edge. The wing area is 361 square feet. Bulges on the underside of the wing roots accommodate the main wheels when retracted. The armored cabin is well forward in the nose, and the armament is one MK412 and two MG151 20 millimeters. The all-up weight with 525 gallons of fuel is 16,000 pounds. Maximum speed, 545 miles per hour at 11,500 feet, 485 miles per hour at 49,000 feet. Maximum speed with swept back wing of improved profile, 590 miles per hour at 29,500 feet, 550 miles per hour at 49,000 feet. Rate of climb at sea level, 8,350 feet per minute. Time to climb to 49,000 feet, 11 minutes. Range at 51,000 feet, 900 miles. Endurance at 51,000 feet, 1 hour, 50 minutes. Blom und Voss P200 Bomber Transport. This is the only drawing of this very large aircraft that has come to hand. It is known that it was intended for long-range transport or bombing. It is powered by eight BMW 803 engines, each developing 4,000 horsepower. Span, 279 feet. Crew, 14. Wing area, 7,680 square feet. Aspect ratio, 10 to 1. All up weight, 462,000 pounds. Maximum speed at sea level, 262 miles per hour. Cruising speed at sea level, 214 miles per hour. Rate of climb, 720 feet per minute. Maximum range with 20,250 gallons, 5,340 miles. Bomb or freight load, 46,000 pounds. Blomund Voss P208 Pusher Fighter. This single-engine fighter is unorthodox in layout. It is of tailless design, 
but auxiliary control surfaces are mounted on short booms attached to the wingtips and are swept downward. The main wing is swept back from the fuselage, and the exhaust outlets from the engine are formed in the trailing edge fillets between the wing and the fuselage. The exhaust outlets are therefore in front of the propeller, with, it is stated, beneficial results on its efficiency. The engine is mounted in the rear of the short fuselage, and no propeller extension shaft is necessary. The coolant radiator is mounted horizontally between the cockpit and the engine, the large intake scoop being underneath the fuselage and the outlet on the top surface. All armament is in the nose. A tricycle undercarriage is fitted. The main wheels, which have a very wide track, retracting inward into the center section, and the nose wheel retracting forward into the nose. There are several versions of this project. The description applies to the P208.03. The P208.01 is powered by a Yonkers Yumo 222E engine, and the P208.02 by an AS413 engine. The latter version also has vertical surfaces at the wing tips. The wing areas of the three versions vary slightly. Span, including auxiliary surfaces, 39.5 feet. Length, 30 feet. Height, 12.2 feet. Wing area, 210 square feet. Aspect ratio, 4.75 to 1. Maximum flying weight with 1,320 pounds of fuel, 11,000 pounds. Wing loading, 54 pounds per square foot. Maximum speed at sea level, 403 miles per hour. Maximum speed at 29,500 feet, 490 miles per hour. Rate of climb at sea level, 3,540 feet per minute. Rate of climb at 29,500 feet, 2,150 feet per minute. Service ceiling, 37,500 feet. Range at sea level, 780 miles. Range at 29,500 feet, 765 miles. Endurance, including climb at sea level, 2.38 hours. Endurance, including climb at 29,500 feet, 1.85 hours. Takeoff distance, on grass, 1,180 feet. Armament, 3 MK-108s. Power plant with two-stage supercharger, one Daimler-Benz 603L. Blomundvoss P212 single-jet fighter. The P212 is a tailless single-jet fighter with a swept-back inverted gull wing and lateral control surfaces near the tip on the upper side only. The control surface on the downward sloping wing serves as an elevator and also partially fulfills the function of rudder and aileron. The wings are of steel string construction with built-in fuel tanks. Landing flaps of unusual depth are mounted on the trailing edge, and there are nose flaps on the leading edge. From the intake in the nose, a curved tubular steel duct leads to the compressor inlet. The pressure cabin is above the inlet duct, and between the cabin and the HES-011 turbojet unit at the rear, there is a fuselage fuel tank, which with wing tanks gives a total capacity of 330 gallons. Two MK-108 guns with 100 rounds per gun are mounted in the nose, one on each side of the air duct. A third MK-108 can be fitted above the duct immediately in front of the cabin. If required, two supplementary MK-108s with 60 rounds per gun can be mounted low down in the sides of the fuselage. Span, including auxiliary wings, 32 feet 8 inches. Length, 24 feet 8 inches. Height, 8 feet 6 inches. Wing area, 
150 square feet. Wing loading, 58.5 pounds per square foot. Maximum flying weight, 8,850 pounds. Fuel, 2,200 pounds. Maximum speed, at 7,770 pounds. At sea level, 572 miles per hour. Maximum speed at 29,500 feet, 640 miles per hour. Rate of climb at 29,000 feet, 2,060 feet per minute. Service ceiling, 40,000 feet. Range at sea level, 280 to 322 miles. Range at 29,500 feet, 600 to 700 miles. Endurance at sea level, 29 to 41 minutes. Endurance at 29,500 feet, 67 to 99 minutes. Takeoff distance on grass, 2,300 feet. Takeoff distance with 2,200 pounds additional thrust, 1,080 feet. Armament, 70 rounds per gun, 3 MK-108s. Power plant, 1 Heinkel HES-011. Blomun Voss P215 Night and Bad Weather Fighter. As described in a document dealing with design submitted for the Night and Bad Weather Fighter program, the P215 is a highly unorthodox tailless design, with a sharply swept back wing with anhedral tips which incorporate control surfaces acting as elevators and partly fulfilling the functions of rudders and ailerons. Inboard of each of these anhedral sections is a small vertical rudder. Slotted flaps are fitted along the entire trailing edge of the main wing, which is parallel in cord and houses large fuel tanks. The two Heinkel HES-011 turbojets are fitted in the extreme tail of the fuselage and are fed with air from a common intake in the nose by way of a tubular steel duct 19.7 feet long. The fuselage is stubby and bullet-shaped. The nose portion carry the armament and radar. Immediately behind it is a pressurized cabin for a crew of three. To the rear of this is the defensive armament. All three wheels of the tricycle undercarriage retract into the fuselage. The armament comprises five MK-108 fixed forward-firing guns with 200 rounds per gun, two MK-108 fixed oblique upward-firing guns with 100 rounds per gun, one MG-151 on FHL-151 mounting, rearward firing, and two 500-kilogram bombs. Span, 61.6 .6 feet. Wing area, 592 square feet. Weight, empty, 16,160 pounds. Normal flying weight, 26,880 pounds. Overload weight with tail turret, 28,000 pounds. Maximum speed at sea level, 484 miles per hour. Maximum speed at 29,500 feet, 594 miles per hour. Endurance at 32,800 feet, full throttle, 1 hour and 39 minutes. Endurance at 32,800 feet with 64% thrust, 2 hours 42 minutes. Rate of climb at sea level, 2,540 feet per minute. Service ceiling, 41,700 feet. Howdy folks. I find it interesting that the first three aircraft in this video, the P-197, P-198, and the P-200, have seemingly been ignored by major plastic injection molded model kit companies. Also my friend Mike Arnold commented that the control surfaces on the P-208, 
P212 and P215 are very aerodynamically sophisticated and advanced. Also, I made a high-level executive decision to not include the Blum und Voss 222 Viking um, in the regular series because it doesn't seem that experimental to me and information on this aircraft is easily obtained. But as a courtesy and at the insistence of my girlfriend, I will provide the data in the manuscript as a courtesy. See you next time. Now back to work, everybody. The present tense has been used for convenience in the following contents. However, this does not mean that an aircraft is in existence or that one was ever built.